What is throttle in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.3. And on this controller, I have a sample pipeline. Let's go ahead and open up our pipeline and take a quick look at it. In our configuration, we've not set any options yet, and we have a really basic pipeline to begin with. So let's scroll up to the section about throttle builds and click on the help icon. And what throttle builds does is it enforces a minimum time between builds based on a desired maximum rate. It's not average, but maximum. So let's go ahead and click on the checkbox and look at the values that are here. What this tells me is it's going to wait approximately one second between builds. Now, in reality, this is a little bit too much because most jobs are probably going to take longer than a second to run anyway. So this value is probably not very useful. Let's change the time period to a minute. Now, what this tells us is when I run a job, it's not going to allow me to start another job until this minute has run out from the start time of the previous job. If I change the one to a two, that means it's going to wait approximately 30 seconds between builds. Now, the best way to understand this is to actually do it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this value of two and a minute. There's also an option to allow user triggered builds to skip the rate limit. For this use case, since I'm the one triggering the builds anyway, I don't want to include that because I don't want to skip this. So let's go ahead and click on save and let's click on build now. What you'll see is this job completed almost immediately because there's not much to the job, just quickly ran. But now let's click on it again. And what you're going to see down in the build history is that it's pending. The build throttle expires at 10.31.23. And what will happen once that time runs out, the job will go ahead and start. And now you can see that the job has completed and finished up at 10.31. If you look at it, 28. So it was beyond the 23. So going in and making changes to our pipeline job for this throttle isn't the most horrible thing, but it's also not the best thing because this value for throttle builds can be set with an option within our pipeline. So let's go ahead and uncheck throttle builds and click on save. Let's go back into it, verify that everything is gone. Let's make sure I can click on save one more time and click on build now. We'll see that the job completes pretty quickly anyway. There's number four. Let's click on build now again. This should complete almost automatically, which it did. So we know that we no longer have the throttle in place. Let's click on pipeline syntax. Click on declarative directive generator and under sample directive, go to options. And the option that we want to add by clicking on add is rate limit builds. Now that value doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but if you look at the description, it says throttle builds. That's the one that we want. Let's go ahead and select throttle builds. And this looks exactly like what we saw over in our pipeline job. This time, instead of saying two in a minute, I'm going to say three in a minute, just so you can see that it's going to be a different value. We're also going to go ahead and leave the allow user unchecked. Let's click on generate declarative directive. What you're going to see here is the block that we need to put over into our pipeline. Let's go ahead and click on copy. We'll go back over to test pipeline, configure, and right here in this empty spot, we're going to put in options. I'll space this in a little bit. So we have rate limit builds, count three, duration minute, user boost, false. Let's click on save and click on build now. Now you'll notice that the job failed and it's complaining about, did you mean throttle? At the time of recording, there's a bug in how you define the rate limit build. So let's go back in and make this change. So we'll go back in here to test pipeline configure. And what we need to add in at the beginning of this is to type throttle and colon. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. Now, when we click on build now, it's going to take those values. We can see that it was successful this time. Everything was fine. Let's go ahead and click back here to test pipeline again. Let's click on build now. We can see that number eight is pending. We're waiting for 3459 to arrive. Once it arrives, then that instance, number eight, will go ahead and run. It just finished. If we take a look at it, you can see it was started here by user and the output is now successful. Just one more time, let's go into the job and verify that the changes that we made within our pipeline were persisted, and they were. We can see here that our number three, which is defined down here in our pipeline, count three, is reflected up here in the throttle build section, and also the time period is set to a minute. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, 
click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.